Well, happy Monday morning. It's Pastor Jay, and I'm here in the warehouse. That's our youth area here at Christ the King. And one of the biggest challenges that you always have with youth is to let them know that they're loved, to let them know that they are valuable. I mean, they haven't proven themselves yet. They don't have jobs. They, you know, they, they don't have any assets. They, you know, they're just coming at it for who they are. And, and I, I think it's a shame that a lot of times in life we, we judge ourselves by what we have and by what we do. And, uh, you know, the Bible tells us clearly that we start out with great value. And that value is value to God. And I want to share with you uh, probably the most famous passage in the Bible. But I want to share with you my favorite, which comes next. Listen to this. Tell me if you recognize this. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. My favorite comes next. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. And that's something, that's the purpose. The purpose was to save the world. The purpose was based on the love that God has for you and me and for every person on earth. And somehow we have to get across, that across. And uh, what I found in our little 100 favorite hymns today was something I didn't quite expect. It's one of those things we learn very early in life. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Let's see what our author has to say about this. Written by Anna Bartlett Warner, Jesus Loves Me contains one of the greatest truths of Scripture. Often thought of as a children's song, it's a concept with which some of the most mature Christians struggle. The idea that Jesus could love us so much that he gave his life for us is mind-boggling. Yet when understood and internalized, it has the power to change everything. Isn't that the case? You think about in your life, uh, when you know somebody really loves you at your worst, at your best, at all times, it gives you the courage, it gives you the strength to live, and, and that's what we know about our Heavenly Father. And so she continues, Jesus openly declared his love for his disciples in John 13, 34. He instructed them to love each other as he had loved them. Jesus went on to describe his love for them as being the same as the Father's love for him. That's John 15, 9. We can't even fathom the love of the Father for the Son. Then Jesus proved his love for us by laying down his life on our behalf, which he described as the greatest love of all, John 15, 13. Jesus loves us. How did Warner know that Jesus loved her? Did she hear an audible voice? Was it spelled out in the clouds? There is something beautiful in the knowledge that she learned of his love the same way we learn of it, in the same way every person, young and old, can know that Jesus loves them because the Bible tells them so. The Bible is one long love letter from God to his children. We have the luxury at any point in time to open up the pages of scripture and remind ourselves that Jesus loves us. We can know that it's true because the Bible tells us so. Isn't that something? We can open the scriptures at any time. And I think that's another thing that throws people off is they go into the scriptures and they don't see it as one big story from creation all the way to the end of time. And so they get stuck in one area. Um, it's kind of like a little child being corrected when they do something wrong and they get stuck back in Leviticus or you know, back in some part of the Bible that is not the whole story. And what we have to see is the overarching story is what? Jesus loves me, God loves me, the Bible tells me so. So let's have a prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask that you would encourage us today uh, as we go about this conditional world, as we're told that we have to make ourselves lovable, remind us that we start with your love. We start with your affirmation. Lord, remind us of that today. Encourage us. Make us strong in that fact that you love us. We ask it in the name of Jesus Christ, our friend. Amen. Well, God bless you. Hope you get a great start to your week.